couple of months ago I did a blog about this Kirtland Tour Pack and how I built up an entire bicycle around it. Few people wanted to know more about it, so I thought I'd share a little bit of information about this very nice bicycle with you today. Here's a closer look at this Kirtland Tour Pack. It really is nice. It's got a clear pocket up here, map pocket. Opens up. You can stow lots of stuff in here. Neat little side pockets like this. Man, I wish they made stuff like this <laughs> these days for all the newer things. I mean, this is just, it's fantastic. If you can find one of these on eBay, boy, pick it up. Now, to get this Kirtland Tour Pack on here, I had to use some old-fashioned handlebars, which meant digging up some old Shimano brake levers. Problem with these handlebar bags is they don't really fit on standard handlebars. Let's take a closer look here. You can see the handlebar clamp here. Problem with today's handlebars is the diameter is just too darn wide. Clamps won't go over it, so I had to dig up an old handlebar. These are old Sakai FX. You remember Sakai? Matching handlebars as well. Also, bar and shift levers on these. Couldn't use the standard shift levers, at least not Shimano, because the cables just ran right into the side of the handlebar bag, which wasn't a good deal. The most interesting thing about this bike is it's the first Terry that we ever built with twin 650 wheels. We were just starting to get into that, and I was wondering, how small can we make a bike using 650s? Well, this one could be even smaller. It fits me. I'm about 5'3". We've got a 44.5 center-to-center seat tube, a 50.8 top tube, 74 degree seat angle, 72 degree head, 5.2 centimeters of rake, 165 cranks on here so there's no toe clip overlap. Head tube on it's getting pretty darn small though. Things are run up pretty close together here. Let's get another angle on it so you can see. See how tight it is there? Yeah, that's starting to set the limit on just how short this seat tube can be unless we want to go to a slope top tube. But this was the first and it's really, really nice. I mentioned this bike was built back in the late 1980s. It's a complete steel bike, lugged frame. You can see the investment cast lugs on here. Very, very nice. Travel down here. Very nice at the seat. Another Kirtland tour bag back there. Down here. Into the back. Yeah, I've got some pretty low gears on this. This is uh, some no-name Shimano Mountain Triple Crank set. Back here, Shimano XT rear derailleur. The thing really shifts like a dream with these bar ends on it. This decal is the Frame Builders decal, Phase 3 Cycles. Don't know if that means anything to you. But we originally started Terry Bicycles. We started it with builders from Ben Serrata's business. Rob Stowe, Dale DeRoss, Brian Mordock, they were all part of this. Made in the USA, of course. And after they moved from Serata to Terry and started their own business, they called it Phase 3 because it was the third phase for them in terms of frame building. This deke is a little bit tougher to see, but it says Paintworks on it. Paintworks was the name of Brian Mordock's company. He did all the painting on this bicycle. My saddle of choice on this bike is the Firefly. This is an older Firefly, the original one. Uh, this one, focus here my little buddy, thank you. This one is the women's version. We make it in a unisex right now. I'll be totally frank with you. I really like the women's version and wish we would bring it back. But I just run the company. Uh, one of the nice things about the saddle is it has a smooth leather finish on it. I really like my saddles nice and smooth because I'm the kind of person who moves around a lot on a bike. And if I'm on a saddle that's suede, forget it. It kills my back. Needless to say, I get tons of comments about the flames coming out of my, well, you know. In closing, I'm going to leave you with this little cartoon that I have in the map pocket of the handlebar bag. I'll probably get sued for this. It's by Johnny Helms. He's a British cartoonist. Meals on wheels. Kind of thing I think about when I'm out for a long ride, getting kind of hungry. So, go out for a ride. Have a good ride.
love your bicycle.